Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Did you know that Safwan ibn Umayya grew up in the house where he had heard about the Prophet sallallahu and he had animosity. He hated the Prophet sallallahu After the battle of Hunayn, we hear that Safwan ibn Umayya he was with his rider subhanallah and he has now just given amnesty. He's been told that no one will hurt him. He has been given protection in Mecca, subhanallah, and he is with his rider. Not only that, the Muslim had granted him so much wealth. He was already an elite, subhanallah. He is the son of Umayyah ibn Khalaf. Umayyah ibn Khalaf was uh, the worst, the vile individual that tortured Bilal ibn Rabah radiallahu anhu. So he had all the luxuries, subhanallah. He lived a decadent life, subhanallah, and he had everything at his disposal. He says, I grew up hating the Prophet And after the battle of Badr, I, I, what I wanted to do, I wanted to put an end to the Prophet So what did I do? I sent my cousin, my best friend, Umair ibn Wahab, and I told him that, look, listen, I will take care of the ransom, ransom. I will take care of your family, I will take care of your children, if you go and put an end to Muhammad. What does he do? He makes his way to the Prophet Sallallahu Umair ibn Wahhab, he's got his sword with him. When the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, Ya Umair, why have you come here with that evil intent? Don't you know that I know why you're coming and what is your purpose? Umair ibn Wahhab goes to put an end to the life of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. However, he embraces Islam. He says that there was no one there when I was having a conversation with Safwan ibn Umayyah. How did you, Ya Rasulullah, know about this incident, Subhanallah? Safwan ibn Umayyah at that moment in time was telling everybody that, wait, I've got some good news. Uh, I'm going to share with you very soon. Lo and behold, he finds out that his best friend, his cousin had embraced Islam. He hated subhanallah Islam. He had animosity subhanallah. And he says after the battle of Hunayn, whilst you know what, I've just been given four months of amnesty, subhanallah, I've been given protection, I've been given so much good subhanallah. I was with my rider, I was going down a ravine and my rider looks at me and I look at my rider and my rider says, Oh Safwan, are you happy with what's been granted to you? And he says that I looked at the person next to me and I said, Ya Rasulullah, how can I not be so happy? And he says, it's the first time in my life I looked at the eyes of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and I fell in love with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He says, I wanted to assassinate the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam on so many occasions. I didn't do that, SubhanAllah. Prior to this, during the conquest of Mecca, when I knew that 10,000 Muslims were coming to conquer Mecca, what did I do? I fled. Subhanallah. I fled Mecca. I was on my way to Jidda and catch a ship. And Subhanallah, if I had to commit suicide, so be it. And it was my friend Umair Ibn, uh, Ibn Wahab Subhanallah who came running. He had taken the turban of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam during the day that you know he conquered Mecca. And with that, he came to me and says, look, come with me. He says, oh traitor, you have abandoned our faith. He goes, no, come with me. Don't leave Mecca. Come with me and embrace Islam. If you do so, I have got the turban of the Prophet ﷺ. This is giving me the authority to give you protection. No one will say or utter a word against you or my cousin or my best friend. Come with me and embrace Islam, subhanAllah. Eventually, we know, subhanAllah, he embraces Islam. All those arch enemy of Islam, every single one of them, all their children, subhanAllah, embraced Islam. Ikrima bin Abu Jahl, subhanAllah. We have Khalid bin Walid, subhanAllah. Amr bin As, subhanAllah. And all of the Safwan ibn Umayyah, we hear about their fathers, subhanAllah, and how they were all killed, subhanAllah, during the Battle of Badr, and all of their children. Initially, thinking about taking revenge, eventually they all come into the fold of Islam. Not only that, they excel and they become phenomenal individuals, Allahu Akbar. They conquer cities and towns and even countries like Amr ibn As, subhanAllah, and others. 
Allahu Akbar. Look at the seerah, subhanallah. How their lives were changed because they fell in love with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Let us also do something similar and fall in love with the Prophet alayhi wa sallam. Jazakallah, assalamu alaykum.